This is the second class in Parak HaMafkid, which is a Mesechtas Bava Metzia on Daf Lamed Gimel Abed Beis. Let's begin. So in the Mishnah we said that if somebody deposited by his fellow, by Hashem Rechinam, Behema Ekelem, an animal or utensils, and later on they were stolen, and the Hashem Rechinam chose to pay rather than swear, that in such a case, if the Ganav is later found, the payments that the Ganav has to make, whether they are kefal, or four or five times the amount, are made to the Shemer. So the Gemara over here is going to ask a question and give an answer. So let's see it inside. Why does the Mishnah need to teach the case of Behema, of an animal that was deposited by Hashem Rechinam? And why does it need to teach the case of Kalim? Why do we need to teach two cases? Why does the Mishnah say, Hamafkid Eitzel Chaveri Behema Eikalim? Either it was a behem or a kalim. Why don't they just say one case and we know the other? And the Gemara answers, Srichi, we need both of them to be taught. The e tana behema, because if it taught the case of a behema, that in that case, that a person decided to pay rather than take an oath, that there, the Shem Rechinam becomes entitled to all the payments of the Ganav, we would say, Hava Amina, we would say, Behema hu demakna lekfeira, It's by an animal, that's where the owner gives over to the Shem Rechinam the rights to Kefil. Because really, when the Ganav is found, he should be paying the Kefil amount to the owner. He stole the owner's item. He should pay one time to the Shem Rechinam, because since the Shem Rechinam paid for the original value, but the Kefil should be given to the owner. Because it was from the owner that it was stolen. It belonged to the owner of the item. So why is the Shemer getting it? Because we say that in, in, in response or in, in, in lieu, in exchange for the Shemer Chinam deciding to pay the owner, the owner says, now you have ownership over anything that happens. If later on a Ganav is found, you could get the Kefal. So we would say, It's by an animal, that's where he is makna to him. He gives over to him the kefal. Why? Because there's a lot of trouble. La to bring it in, and to take it out. There's work with an animal. It needs to be brought into the, into the barn, into the pen. It needs to be taken out. And being that the shamer did a lot of work, so we would say that in that case, when the shamer chooses to pay the owner, the owner says, I'm willing to give over to you the kefal that's collected from the Ganav. But by kalim, by utensils, that there's not a lot of work involved. A person just places them on the shelf and keeps them there until the owner comes back for them. So, we would say he doesn't give over to him the kefal. The owner in that case would say, if you pay me, so if the Ganav is found, the original amount you'll get back. However, the kefal goes to me since he stole my item. I have the rights to kefal. So we would say there he doesn't give over the a kefal, and therefore the Tanits teach us that even by Kalim, even there, in exchange for the Shem Rechinam paying for the item when it was stolen, the owner gives over to him the rights to Kefal. So why can't we just say Kalim? Ve'i tona Kalim, and if the Tana taught the case of Kalim, Hava Amina, we would say Kalim hu de kamakna lekfeilo, that it's by Kalim that he gives over to him the rights of Kefal. Mishum the loy nafesh keflayu, because the, because the kefal doesn't become greater. In other words, for kalim, a ganav only pays double. He'll never pay more than double. So since it's not such a great amount, it's not so much, so many times more. So therefore, the owner is willing to give over to the shamer the rights to the kefal of a behema. But by a behema, that when he shechted it or if he sold it, mishalem tashlumi dalad vehei. He will pay the payment of four or five times the amount. The ganav will have to pay four or five times the amount, depending if it was a sheep or an ox, maybe we would say that he, that he, the owner, doesn't give over to the Shemer Chilim the Kefal. So maybe the owner tells the, is saying to the Shemer, if it's Kalim, then I'm willing to give over to you the Kefal if you pay me for the, for the, for the, for the deposit. Because it's not so much greater. However, by an animal, we or the Kefal could be not just two times, but it could go up to Dalit and Hay, four and five times the amount. There, Maybe the Shemer Chinam doesn't get, doesn't receive, doesn't receive the kef, the kefal. Maybe the the owner doesn't give over the kefal to him, and therefore we need to teach both. Tzricha, we need both of them. So just to summarize, we explained that if we said it by behema, we'd say only by behema the owner gives over the rights to kefal, since the Shemer put in a lot of work to take care of it, but not by kalim. And if we said kalim, then we'd say only the the owner gives over the rights to kefal, because by kalim it's only going to be double the value of the items. 
by however by a behema where the value could be even four or five times the amount, maybe the owner doesn't give over the kefal, and therefore we need to teach both. So just to show the Gemara, we have over here the question, and the rest of the Gemara is the answer.